Are you going to make me a star? And as we go along, what we're going to do is explain to you exactly what's going on with your eye. Put your chin down here so this machine doesn't like light. But let's start examining. That one is done. I'll do the other eye and then I'll explain to you what is going on. Look on the front. Curvature of the back and it gives us a thickness. And it can tell us a lot about the shape of your cornea or the clear part of your eye in the front. So if I go back to the display here, this is how you are bulging a bit. That's the front curvature and this is the back. And this gives you a topography map. So you can see this red here indicates that we've got high ground. So the best way to think about this, if you take a soccer ball inside tube and you inflate it, it's nice and spherical and round. But if it's got a weak spot, and you inflate it, it bulges. So you in, in your eye, just below your pupil, the eye is bulging and sliding forward. Yeah. Now if you look at the thickness map, the thinnest part of your cornea is 383 microns. And this is a condition called keratoconus. So it's a yeah. condition that starts in your teenage years normally, and is slowly progressive. So it's very important to check this test over a period of months, just to see if there's any progression, because we've got tools now that we can stop it from getting worse. Okay. And that's the main thing in focus to see what's going on. Now the hallmark of this condition for you is it causes distortion in your vision. So you can never get a pair of glasses that you feel you can see 100% with. It's always okay, but not perfect. Sure. So what we need to do is, is create a new surface for you to see through. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about a new surface for you to see through, you can do that either with surgery, which is the last option because you don't want to have surgery if you don't need it. Absolutely. Or you can use a contact lens. Now right. a contact lens, we can make the surface of the lens what we want, and the tears between the lens and the eye takes a distortion away. And that's the old way that we've been doing for years and years to actually correct this condition. Mm -hmm. Now you get normal hard lenses or RGPs which are small, yeah. or we can have bigger lenses. The scleral lenses, which I think uh, Jeremy spoke to you about, yes, he did. and that, that's the, the latest option we have, or even we can do a soft lens. So everybody's different, and the trick today is to figure out what you're going to do. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test your eyes to see what your prescription is. Okay. Then I'm going to look with a microscope and see what your eye looks like. And then we see what works for you, and that's we, we take it from there. The main thing with keratoconus, you must remember, you'll never go blind from it. Okay. Never. At least. Never, ever. Goodness. It's like blood pressure. Okay. If you control it, it's fine. Stabilized. If you don't stay on top of it, problems. Okay? okay. But we've got lots of options to treat you with. The first thing you need to remember today is never, ever rub your eyes. It's okay. the worst thing you can do. You will write them off. You will finish your cornea if you keep on rubbing them. Right. And that's one of the things that cause this. So it's genetic, you inherit it from your parents, okay. but it's also associated with allergies and atopic disease. So it'll be very important now that you never rub your eyes. If you feel like rubbing your eyes, you phone me and I'll prescribe a drop for you that you can use to stop rubbing. Okay. So let's start and see exactly where you go. It all looks good, healthy. again and a little bit of dryness so we see that let's look at the other side let's blink your eye again and again This is a hard lens. 
The diameter is nine millimeters. Okay, so, so it fits only on the palette part of your eye. You only on the palette part. That's what it looks it's like. Very, very small. Very small, and you can feel it's hard. So it, it's not easy for it to pop up? No. Because I was going to ask. It's it does, but it sits quite very stable. I mean, if you rub your eye and you blink, uh -huh. it can pop out. That one does it, is that the one that can let oxygen in? This is it, yeah. That's why it's yeah. called a rigid gas yes, permeable yes, lens, yes. yeah. That's an RGP lens. Okay. Or just people call them hard lenses or RGPs or corneal lenses. You know, okay. It depends on where you are in the world, what they call them. But this is typically tomato, a... Tomato, tomato. Yeah, it's, it's all the same thing. Now, the other ones that, that are now the popular ones, mm -hmm. or become more popular, is the sclero lenses, because they're supposedly a little bit easier to fit. To fit. But these but lenses are healthier. So okay. if you can tolerate this, and you can see with this, you will be very happy with My it. concern is the falling out part. No, it's fine. Remember, millions of people wear them. So yes, you can lose it. If you dive into a swimming pool with your eyes open, it's going to go, you know. But okay, straight ahead again. And you're the first time ever putting a lens in your eye. You're a wonderful patient. You don't cause any trouble. <laughs> I think it must be the video. No, it's... <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to behave. <laughs> yeah, so if you feel them a little bit, that's normal, okay? Okay. This would take about a week to two weeks to get used to. All right. But you will not believe... How well you see with these lenses. Is this the best, like you said, obviously, for this kind of situation, the healthiest, as you said, because that's the most important aspect it's for me to see and It's both maintain. the healthiest as well as the most cost effective. Most cost effective. So these lenses can last from two to four years, depending on how you look after them. Right. And your solutions to clean them will cost you probably about 30 rand a month. Okay. So instead, in, in terms of, of looking at the cost from the sterile lens perspective or the newer, bigger lenses, they double, more than double the price of these. Okay. Um, and they're not as healthy because you have to remember the motion or the movement this lens has, there's continuous change of the tears between the lens and the eye. When you have a sterile lens, there's really no tear exchange. So oxygenation and health of the cornea is the better. Difference in terms of sterile lenses, for some people, they're more comfortable feel better because they're bigger and the eyelid doesn't feel the edge. Okay. You can get used to these and they work fine. So remember there's an old rule with this. Keep it safe and simple. Kiss. The kiss rule is what we apply. Okay. We don't want to do something that's over the top. Yeah, I can send you for surgery, but it would be total overkill. It's not wrong to have the surgery, but it's not necessary. You know, do the simplest thing first. Right. If you lose a lens, we make another one. If you need to change the lens, make another one. So the whole thing with your eye is to manage your condition and manage it effectively. If I'm on the but the laptop, I really have to cave in. To, but exactly. with this, I mean, I've got a distance. And yeah. You can even read the small print. I'm already distance about there. All right. Yeah. So, that's so this gives you as close to normal vision as we can possibly get. Now with the lenses you have on, now obviously too weak. That's why we got the glasses in front. Okay. And I can tell you now, you'll see even better with the final lens that we see now because this is just the best lens for sure. Now. Sure. And I noticed the comfort's already better. It is like I'm. Um, You're used to it. The shock is gone now, you see. Yeah.